Welcome everybody, this is Coin6 News at 6 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hoff, and new tonight, we just obtained some body cam and surveillance video that gives us a new look at a violent crime spree in St. Helens. The crime spree started with a gunman opening fire at a gas station and then ended with an officer having to ram him with his squad, killing him. Jenny Young on the story tonight. She joins us live to break down all the new video. That's Jenny. right, Jennifer. This all started on October 9th when Michael Veach pulled a gun at a Chevron station in St. Helens. Remember, Veach, he was connected to the shooting death of Cowitz County Deputy Justin DeRozier. That was back in April. So this starts at the Chevron station in St. Helens on Highway 30. It's 530 in the morning there. You see Veach wearing a hoodie and a ball cap walking in the front of the store. He and the store clerk pass each other. Veach turns around, says something to the clerk, and then points the gun at him. Surveillance cameras inside the store show the clerk behind the counter pick up the phone, call for help. The other clerk grabs the keys, locks the front doors. Now, fortunately, no one was hurt, but this was the first incident in a string of crimes that police say Veach committed that night. Officers say he left the store and fired shots and tried carjacking two drivers, both firing shots, firing, firing shots at both of them. Now, this crime spree came to an end on Highway 30 near Deer Island. Police say Veach was walking on the highway shooting at cars. A St. Helens police officer made the quick decision to hit Veach with his car. Veach passed away there on the scene. Now we are going through, we have gone through police cam body video in the last hour, Jennifer, and there is just nothing that we can show. It's just so graphic, but we have posted the surveillance video from the, the videos you just saw, those are on coin.com. And Jennifer, I spoke with the victims, those carjacking victims. I spoke with them a few weeks ago, and man, they are still traumatized by this. A traumatic experience and a large backstory here. Uh, so certainly a story that we have followed for several months, again, dating back to Deputy DeRozier's death in April. You can see all of our reports in that video. Jenny, thank you at coin.com.